name is Suren Pedrosyan. Uh, I am a principal cellist uh, with Abdelta Symphony Orchestra and I am very happy to be here today to play some cello and answer some questions about this beautiful instrument. I make cellos for in different sizes. Uh, as a young child, for beginners, there are one quarter, one eighth. Uh, I was four years old when I started playing the cello and it was tiny, tiny cello. It almost, almost looked like a big violin. Uh, and as you grow, you get bigger cellos. Uh, the cello grows with you. How do you know where to place your fingers without frets? Yes, that's a very interesting, very good question. Uh, yes, as you can see, it is different from, let's say, guitar, where you know, you visually, you can see exactly where to put your fingers. And as a matter of fact, uh, oftentimes the teachers for young beginners, they would put stickers or tapes uh, to help young players to learn quickly. But the process more and more and as quickly as possible, you start to using your ears and learn by ear. Uh, and centuries ago, when this instrument was just starting in 16th, 17th centuries, they used to have viola da gamba and viola da braccia. They were two different families of string instruments. And many of them, most of them, they did have. Uh, so visually you could see. Uh, but on modern cello, it, it doesn't exist anymore. So you just use your ears uh, like singers. When you are looking for the pitch, uh, you listen for intervals. Why do you pronounce it as cello when it looks like cello? Yes, uh, in English when you see it uh, looks like you are supposed to pronounce cello. Uh, but the instrument, the origin of uh, this family of violins, uh, cello violin, uh, the origin is from Italy uh, in 16th, 17th century. And uh, that's the reason why we still use the Italian pronunciation. Uh, so the C in Italian you pronounce as uh, cello. Uh, some fun uh, techniques of cello, which is specific to most of the string instruments. Uh, first of all, the big difference we have bow, uh, which wind instruments or brass instruments they don't. Yeah, you see only one instrument. Now, visually, you can see we have two separate pieces. Uh, the way it works with a bow. Uh, we pull the string, and that's how the science works. We pull the string, the string vibrates, resonates, and makes that beautiful, pure tone. Uh, and we apply rosin, which is uh, which makes it stickier, to help uh, pull the string. And with the left hand, you uh, because you see we have only four strings. With your left hand or any particular string, uh, you can change the pitch. As you go higher, as you move your left hand up, uh, the pitch goes higher. As you can see when I'm doing the sound, as you go. And actually that, that is the reason why, uh, if you look back in the history, uh, violins and the cellos were the first members of the orchestra. Uh, in 16th and 17th centuries, uh, in orchestra they had only violins, uh, some old type of violas and violins and da gambas. And that's the reason because we were able to play every single pitch. Another fun technique which I like a lot and many people like, uh, and it is used in jazz a lot, that's pizzicato, another Italian term. Uh, that's when you play without your bow. So the left hand, you again, you play any notes, but you plug the string, not with a bow, you don't pull with a bow, you just plug the string. Uh, we can play two notes at the same time. If I compare us with piano, piano wins, because pianists, they can play many notes at the same time, five, six, ten notes at the same time. We can play two notes at the same time. Sometimes we can pretend, we can try to attempt to play four notes. Like a rolling. But two 
in Azerbaijan is very common. Uh, we call it double stop. Um, another fun technique which I like, uh, which is uh, difficult to do on cello and violin, is called harmonic, uh, which sounds uh, like whistling. Uh, let me give you some example of harmonic. So the pitch goes up, we are playing in the same register as violin now, but the quality of tone is more whistling, it's not as pure as you play normally. You see what is this little wooden part here, which holds the strings, four strings sit on this. A uh, beautifully shaped piece of wood. We call it bridge, like the strings are crossing the bridge. Yeah, so and also it helps to vibrate the strings to resonate better with uh, the instrument. Uh, another a difference between violin, viola, and cello, we have eight pin because uh, the instrument is bigger. Violins, as you know, they put on their shoulder. Uh, but this one is too big, uh, we obviously cannot fit in our arm and put our shoulder. So we have to sit down and put the instrument down. And that's the reason to give us stability, we use the head pin, uh, this metal or wooden stick here, which you can adjust uh, depending on uh, the, how high you will need to uh, adjust the chair and so on. Uh, and then we have the pegs here. Four of them uh, for four strings. Each string has its own peg. This is how we tune uh, and fine tuners here for again corresponding to each individual string. Uh, we have fingerboards. It's a board for our fingers. That's, that's why it's called fingerboard. So the left hand always runs on the fingerboard on the strings, up and down, changing the pitch. As you with a bow, you play on the same string, right? But your left hand goes up and down on the fingerboard, changing the pitch, going up or going down. Uh, and the strings, uh, they are different sizes too. The top string, the first string, is thinner than the low. As you go, it gets thicker. So that affects also the pitch too. So if a string is thin, the pitch is higher, like flute. It sounds like violin flute here. As you go down, the most, most sounds like tuba. Uh, there is another function with your left hand, uh, vibrato. Uh, you move your hand. Kind of a pure uh, straight tone is vibrating, goes up and down.
please uh, take a try, find the cello or violin or any other instrument in the orchestra. Uh, try to find somebody and ask questions and play instruments. And we hope to see you uh, in the concert hall for the Delta Symphony concerts. I hope you enjoyed this video about the instruments of the orchestra. If you like this one, please check out our other videos and give us a like and subscribe to our channel.